This is what it takes to be in a happy relationship to attract you forever, soulmate, to attract you, provide that we propose to be married. Okay. This video is especially for women who have been coached before from a dating and relationship coach, and or maybe for women who have been reading all of their books, who have been learning about feminine masculine strategy, maybe they have been learning about the rules and all of that. So I will share with you the missing piece, why this strategies work for some women and it doesn't work for other. Okay, so the missing piece is here is that when you come from a place of frustration, from a place of rejection, from a place of it's hopeless, I have to push through it. It says in the book, it says in the program that I have to go on three dates per week and I have to lean back and I have to let the guy do this and this. And you might get some superficial results, but there will not be this amazing dance and connection with this man. There will not be this amazing honeymoon, falling in love, butterfly feelings. And I tell you why. Because when you are in those negative feelings, yeah, when you are in those negative feelings, you are actually, you're actually driving away on an energetic level, you're driving away from your goal. What is your goal? You want to be happily married, right? Or even happily dating, happily engaged, you want to be excited. How in the world are you going to be happily married and excited when right now you're feeling rejected, you're feeling frustrated, you're feeling angry, you're feeling burnt out and hopeless? This doesn't work. It sometimes does, but you have to put in so much work pushing through it. And I don't know like about you, but I don't want to do it. And most of my clients don't want to do it either. Okay. And um just like I was sharing also in other videos, it's about being the vibrational match. That means, again, if you're a happy person, you're like, yes, let's be happy. Let's do party. Let's go on a hike and let's talk about the sun. And then you have some other girlfriend or maybe family member who always complains, always is in fear, runs around cycles to be like, oh my goodness tomorrow uh, the world's gonna go down I'm so afraid of everything and I don't like my life I don't like anything I don't like my job I don't like anything and I'm in so much fear and I just want to complain and gossip about everybody do you think you guys are going to be friend and want to hang out no you won't because you are just like ah I don't want to listen to this gossip I don't not want to listen to this negative propaganda I just want to go hiking I just want to go swimming and enjoy my day. And the same would say the negative person, she will say, she's so happy. That's annoying. I just want to gossip and I just want to like talk bad about other people. And I just want to tell everybody how awful this world is. You guys are not a match. And same is happening in dating. You can have the best knowledge, the best strategy. And this might even work with some guys that are easily manipulated, that might even work with some guys who, some guys who happen to be super desperate to be with you, <laughs> but you will not be happy because again, you can't create a happy relationship out of being rejected, out of being feeling stuck, out of feeling burnt out. It, it's just not a match. How in the world do you, can you have a happy relationship be here when you're right here? It's not a match. Okay, so I hope this makes sense. Let me know in the comments. And um, let me take a sip of water. <clears throat> so I hope this makes sense. And the way to go there is to literally start living in this happy place right now, but not acting 
acting like I'm happy, I'm abundant, I'm rich, this doesn't work either because this is faking. If you fake your emotions, it, it doesn't work. The universe listens to true emotions. Yeah, so some healing has to be done, releasing, cleansing, and embodiment of the tr new personality. So this is deep inner work. Yeah, so I'm a coach that not only teaches you the structure and system and knowledge, mostly I even don't. Most of my clients have been reading the books, have been taking the courses, have been coached before. They come to me for embodiment. Yeah, but if you know, there are some clients who need the knowledge. I'm, of course, um, either sharing this with them or, by the way, having many recordings that I give them. I'm just, I'm just not offering that yet. Maybe I will offer for you guys my recordings that I created for my private clients to have the knowledge and the structure. But on the one-on-one -on -one code calls, we focus on the embodiment that you actually get here. And you know what? Even women who don't know the structure, who don't know how to behave around a guy who are like so masculine and chasing, if they are a vibrational match, they will still get this. Yeah? Just knowing how to deal with a guy, how to be like feminine, masculine energy, it's just, you know, it, everything is just making it simpler. But the baseline of your success, of your effortless success, is being a vibrational match means that you already are in this happy place, that you feel loved, cherished, that you feel loved and cherished, and that you feel like, oh, I actually deserve, deserve this great treatment from this amazing, successful guy who, you know, is so educated and handsome and exciting and wealthy. Yeah, whatever excites you, you don't have to settle for anybody. But then the second question I received was, oh, but I, I can get guys to propose and I can get guys to be with me, but I don't feel this emotional connection. So the reason you don't feel this emotional connection, because if you are in this frustrated, angry stage, um, you are most likely to numb your feelings because guess what? If you are living up your feelings of frustration, what will happen? You will just start fights every five minutes, right? <laughs> if you are frustrated and angry and you start expressing your emotions freely on a date, what will happen? You will start fights. You will uh, start being mean to other people. So most people are conscious and they're like, okay, let me just suppress those feelings. And if you don't have this connection to yourself, guess what? You cannot have a connection to a man. So again, it's the same system of releasing the pain, embodying the new you. It's an energetic, it's on an energetic level. So um, just for the background, I'm also I'm also trained to be an energetic healer. I don't do it full time, but I definitely use it in my coaching. It's not only about knowledge and application but also about alignment and being an energetic match. So again, when you are full of anger, frustration, no men are good enough for me, you most likely are going to suppress your feelings. Otherwise, if you don't, you express them, you will um, start a fight. But what will happen when you're full of pleasure, you're full of aliveness, you're full of excitement, you're on a date and you will express those feelings and this will create this emotional connection because you're connected to yourself and you know nobody wants to be connected to you, their own emotions if they're negative but if you're full of life full of excitement you will connect it, connect it to yourself and you also inspire the man to be connected to his feelings and you guys like are excited together you can laugh together you can have like this romance and flirting together you can you know you can just enjoy the emotional intimacy and it's you as the you as the woman who is creating this emotional intimacy and it's only possible when you're living your best life when you're living in this excitement when you are living you know, in this abundance, in this freedom, in this feeling of I deserve that and I 
I'm not settling for less and let's just have fun here. Yeah. And, you know, this empowered state of being also attracts super wealthy um, men. My clients, they often don't even look for millionaires. But as I was sharing in my other videos, they receive million, like millionaires and super empowered men come to their life because empowered men oftentimes are successful in, um, you know, in their career, in their businesses, so they are making money. And I have many clients who are also empowered in their career. They're like, yes, I can get there. I'm doing this. I'm successful. I can make the money. Great. But they are very disempowered in the relationship part. And it's time to work on the inside. Yeah. Sometimes we cannot wait for the outside to show us the results to feel empowered. Sometimes we have to switch it around and work on the inside do the process that I'm teaching you in the one-on-one coaching and and then and then um you know then the outside world then the relationship then the empowered men who are a match for you you are empowered the millionaires empowered come together okay so I hope that this awareness helps you in some kind of way if it did let me know in the comments if you like this video then um, give it a thumbs up if you watch on YouTube, then subscribe to never miss another video. And, and, and if you're interested in my support, yeah, that you have those amazing dating experiences, that you have men coming into your world that are empowered, you know, high caliber, affluent, that you are excited to date and to be with, then feel free to reach out for a free love assessment call. This month, I have only one more spot for a private client. And after this, I will decide if I take more or if I actually just going to raise the price and take more. <laughs> um, so just reach out for this price. I have just one more spot since another lady just signed up yesterday. And um, I will be so excited to help you on your dating journey, especially because I know what you're going through because I have made all the mistakes in dating too. And, you know, I've been learning for multiple years and I've been coaching women at this point for multiple years. So I'm so confident that I can help you. So just reach out. Let's see if we are a match and um, let's meet in the free first call. Okay, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.